Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Today, let's talk Color Wheel. This feature is new to both ACDC Ultimate 2021 and Professional 2021. Uh, let's just get right into it. I'm going to open an image in edit mode and I will navigate to the Color Wheel from the filter panel that is on the left here. The UI may seem complicated at first, uh, but it's really not, so let's try to demystify it. The wheel itself is for selecting colors, and the bottom section with the sliders is for making changes to whatever colors we've selected. Hovering over my image, you may notice that the color picker pops up uh, as I scroll over different pixels. Uh, what it does is it moves a little ball around the circumference of the wheel on the left. If I click, that color is selected. So blue here is selected on our color wheel. Let's have a look at it. So I can move the color range by using this center mark that's right here. As I drag this marker through the different hues, you'll notice that the screen switches to grayscale. Uh, what this does is this enables the program to illustrate to us which parts of our image fit within that hue range. As I drag into the red spectrum, you'll notice that the gate on the left becomes highlighted while everything else remains grayscale. If I drag the radius markers to the right and left of the center mark, we can now add additional color ranges. Let's take the left radius and add green. Once again, the image will go grayscale to indicate which hues will be affected by the adjustments. I can also use the color wheel to target low or high saturated colors. I'm within the blue spectrum. Let's take the center of our circle and pull it towards the circumference. By doing so, the color wheel will indicate to you which blues are highly saturated. In our case, our image is comprised of mostly moderate saturation. The reverse is also possible. We can pull the circumference towards the center of the wheel to target less saturated colors. When you have a selection, you can invert it by using the invert button, which is right next to the preview button here. With my blue selected, I'm going to adjust the hue to clearly indicate what has been changed. You'll notice that as I slide the hue into the purple spectrum, that the blue in the background is also selected uh, and therefore also changes to purple. I can adjust that by adding a brush selection on top of our color wheel adjustments. Before I do so though, I just want to point out that I can add additional color wheels by selecting the plus button up at the top here. I can also hide color wheels by clicking the small check mark box above it. The color wheel icons change to accommodate which color they are selecting. This is mostly for ease of use and just to remind you what you have selected within those color icons. Uh, you can delete active wheels with the X button that's on the right here. Okay, so let's do that thing that I said I was gonna do. Let's remove the background blue so just the car is subject to the color wheel adjustments. To do this, I'm going to turn on the brush tool by clicking on it uh, and simply brush where my car is. Uh, this is going to take a moment, so I'm actually going to speed my selection process up. Literally all I'm doing is brushing where the car is. I'm going to maybe take a little bit more time in the area where the blue uh, collides with the blue in the background, just at the top of our car here. One final note about the brush tool, or pixel targeting tools, that when applied, they will affect all active color wheels. So just note that each color wheel doesn't get its own unique brush or pixel targeting properties. Uh, there you have it. Color wheel once again is in Ultimate and Professional 2021. I'm really excited about this feature. I think it looks really cool. I hope you are too. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
Consider clicking the bell if you like our content and want to be notified when we release new videos. Take care.